Hey everyone, this is Michael with the Black Mirror reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope this finds you all well. This is a brand new series that I am starting on my channel. So for those of you who want to skip ahead, I, I advise not doing that because this is a very different tarot reading than I'm sure what many of you are used to. This isn't so much about uh, figuring out what is going to be happening for you externally, although you can get an idea of that in this spread. This is actually more designed to be able to help you figure out certain patterns in your life that may be facilitating or holding back the changes you want to be making. And this could be showing up in your relationships, this could be showing up in your life purpose, it could be showing up in your career, with your family, really any number of things. It's kind of up to you to figure out where these patterns are showing up. I know the name The Black Mirror can sound a little scary, a little dark, but this isn't actually something that's negative. We can't associate darkness with negativity automatically. A lot of the time there's actually a lot of things of value that we keep in the dark. And what this spread and what this reading is really about is you bringing those to light, you really understanding yourself, why you're making the decisions you're making, why you're kind of moving through your life in a certain way. I know a lot of people uh, were really looking for love readings for February. But I actually think that right now, it's very appropriate with Mercury being retrograde, especially in a sign like Pisces, that we really look at our subconscious, that we really look at ourselves in a, a very deep way. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with love readings. I'm not trying to bash anyone who watches them or makes them. I actually made them myself for a while. But I've wanted to change my mid-monthly readings for a while, and I think that this is something that is really exciting to me, so I hope it excites all of you as well. This is kind of where I, I really get my passion, and I think that's what really sustains these channels. It really helps us grow, and this just feels so much more like the path I'm supposed to be on. So let's see. It's all an experiment. I'll be curious to hear your feedback in the comments down below. I do have all of my links in the description box for personal readings, Reiki sessions, donations for those of you who feel so called. I also do uh, have a new website now, so be sure to look over everything carefully. I did make some changes, but I also have a discount code called REBIRTH. You enter in, that in in the checkout section and you'll get 10% off any of my services until next Monday, February 24th at midnight. So I'm gonna do some shuffling for you now, Virgo. Let's see. What are the messages for my Virgo? And these are gonna be kind of shorter readings. This is more for you to just kind of reflect on and think of for the month ahead. These are timeless readings as well. So do keep that in mind if you're watching this after February, after March. Um, it doesn't really matter. If you found it, trust that there is something here for you. Because we are looking at our subconscious, some of these messages that are coming forward, they might not seem like they resonate with you right away. I just want you to keep open-minded and, and consider that maybe there is still something here for you and you're just not aware of it yet. That's kind of the nature of this read. I actually do feel like moon signs are really good for this specific spread. So if you don't know what your moon sign is, that's okay, that's totally fine. Uh, your sun sign should do just fine, or even your rising or Venus sign, depending on what you're looking for. But I, I do have a natal chart calculator, again, in the description box that should be able to help you figure out those placements if you don't know already. So what are the messages for Virgo? We already have some things here. Interesting. So, <laughs> Virgo. Your perception of the situation right now, how you're kind of feeling. We have a Six of Swords and a Five of Pentacles showing up in reverse for you. This is really interesting that this is showing up together because it's like you're moving on from a situation where things really didn't feel reciprocal for you. You might have felt a little abandoned, a little forsaken. Maybe this is a relationship for some of you. Maybe this is a, a job or some sort of project you've been working on that's just not been working for you. And you are looking ahead. Things are looking up here, or at least you're trying to tell yourself that. But when you actually look at the mirror here, when you actually have this reflection, you have the star in reverse. 
What this tells me, I'm sorry, I know these are not showing up very well on camera. There we go. So what this star in reverse is kind of telling me here, there is this lack of faith. You're not really sure. You know, you are trying to move forward. You know the situation you were in wasn't working for you. And right now you're being asked to have faith and you're not trusting. And I think with the star energy as well, there's something to do with divine timing. A lot of the Virgos who are watching this right now, you're really struggling with divine timing, with really trusting in the unfolding of things, the progression of things. And I know the general reading was kind of, it, it was sort of similar. There was this calling for a lot of the Virgos in the general reading for February. And I, I do feel like right now a lot of you are, are kind of feeling like you're out at sea, kind of drifting, not really sure where you're going or where you're ending up. So that's very interesting. There is something some of you need to heal, is the thing. And you might not be looking at that. You might not be seeing it. It's, it's not about you just going forward, okay? There is something from the past that needs to be healed before you're able to move on. And again, I know this is a timeless reading, but just knowing that we are in a Mercury retrograde at the time of this recording, and that's when most of you are going to be watching this, we are looking at the past a lot. We are in kind of a review state. And even if it's not Mercury retrograde when you're watching this, just consider that you are in a period of review right now. There is something that you need to heal before you're allowed to move forward. Let's see what we're not seeing. That's too many. Show me clearly. What are my Virgos not seeing? me clearly. What are my Virgos not seeing? Oh my gosh, yeah. So this reflection, what you're supposed to be looking at, the star in reverse, we were talking about this healing, we have the Four of Swords and the Page of Cups. Let's try and get that in focus here. I do love these cards, but they don't show up on camera very well. But it's the message that's what's important here. You need to heal something before you can go forward. I think some of you might have jumped ship a little bit early. There was something that you didn't consider and it's coming into your awareness now or it's trying to come into your awareness right now. Your reality might be bringing in people from the past. It might be bringing in old ideas or, or things that remind you of, of past chapters in your life. And that's to really make you review. There is something that you need to integrate here before you're able to go forward. It's not just about leaving the past completely behind you, okay? You might have lost a part of yourself. This sensitive, yearning part of yourself, you may have lost this because you were burned, you may have been betrayed, you may have been hurt by something or someone. And in response to that, you kind of closed up your heart and you're now in the situation where you're trying to move forward, you're trying to leave something, but you, you can't. Maybe some of you are in this toxic relationship where it's like, you know you need to be leaving, or you're in this situation where it's obvious it's not serving you, but there's still this resistance that you're encountering in your daily life for whatever reason. And it could be internal, it could be external. You could be manifesting external blockages because the universe is structured around you, where you are vibrationally. And there is something here that 
the universe is really trying to get you to see to integrate moving forward. And we have one more card here. And this is actually what I have called the crack in the mirror. This is how we can kind of break this pattern. This is how we can set ourselves free if we need to. But it seems pretty clear already. You know, we have all of these cards talking about healing, talking about going back, connecting, resting. Okay. We do have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Virgo, if you feel like you're working really, really hard, really trying to push yourself forward right now, and you're still not seeing results, let this go. For now. I know that's scary. I know that freaks Virgos out. We love to be working on something. We, we don't like to take time off. I'm a Virgo. I get you, okay? But with this energy, if you find yourself really resisting, really trying to push through something, I could actually see that backfiring here for you. It's not about taking on more responsibility or burdening yourself. It's actually about letting things go right now. And sometimes we have to go back. We have to stop resisting where our emotions are taking us, even if we know it's not where we ultimately want to be. Because there's still something of value here. There's still a lesson you need to learn. There's still healing going on here. You will move forward. I do feel like that's happening. And it's almost like the quickest way to move forward is actually to take a step back. And that's confusing for you right now, but the energy here is, is actually pretty clear to me. I'm going to pull one more card here. I'm actually going to pull a color healing card. And we're going to see how we can move through this energy. Now these color healing cards, there's a lot of things you can do with them. If you do energy work or any sort of visualization work, you can use these colors to heal yourself. Um, I'll actually be reading this from the booklet as well and it offers a guided visualization. I personally like to do kind of an art therapy exercise with each of these where I use these colors, I make a picture based off of the recommendations of the cards and I write affirmations for myself. And really the limits with this is your own creativity, your own imagination here. So let's see, your card, Virgo. We have green. Revitalize your nervous system. Yes, this is not a time to be burdening yourself. This is not a time to be forcing anything right now. You really need to be replenishing yourself. And also spending some time in nature can be very helpful for you as well. So let's see, green here. We have green 31, which breaks down to a four numerologically. So this is about building stuff as well. Green revitalizes your nervous system, heart, circulatory system, and liver, lowering blood pressure and releasing frustration and anger. Meditation and healing are enhanced by green, which also stimulates growth and is good for healing broken bones. Surround anyone who is unwell with green. Absorb, absorb green rays to it, revitalize your nervous system and heart. And the visualization here is focus on flooding your nervous system with green rays of light. Direct the light throughout your whole spine before moving it into your heart. Then rotate this green light around your heart until you feel your heart expand, relax, and fill up with vitality. Say divine intelligence, Please release all the pressure and stress from my heart and nervous system and fill me up with your healing, revitalizing green light. This is beautiful, Virgo. I was saying earlier, it's like some of you abandoned your heart and you're trying to go forward, you're trying to push through with all of this effort, with all of this will and ego, but you're lacking your heart because you shut that down. 
So this is really about you reconnecting with your heart before you go forward. You really do need to tap back into this emotional energy and I know that can be kind of scary sometimes because it, it can bring up emotions, it can bring up things that we don't want to deal with. But Virgo, this is actually kind of the missing piece for you. In order to go forward in your life, you really need that heart, you need that, those, that emotional center that you may be closed down to due to grief. And also working with your heart chakra is very important for you as well, the Anahata chakra. This is what the color green is associated with. And I feel like a lot of you are dealing with heart blocks pretty significantly. And we were seeing that with the Page of Cups and the Four of Swords in kind of what you're not seeing. You are missing this emotional component. You are missing this calm as well. It's important for you to be very calm, very zen as you're going forward. If something is making you more stressed out, you're not going forward with the right energy right now. And you need to slow down and maybe even take a step back, go return to something, return to yourself a little bit. And that's actually going to be the quickest way forward. Anyway, Virgo, I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. I would love to hear in the comments down below how this felt for you, if you liked the style of reading. I actually found it really fun and interesting. Um, I do, again, have all of my links in the description box down below. And again, I have the discount co code REBIRTH for those of you who want to redeem a 10% off discount by Monday, February 24th. I will see you all in the next video, and I am wishing you a great week and great rest of your month. Take care, Virgo.